Hadin ke jingklem jong ka jingtap tnom la niu dum jong ka yingda war tha wain ke jala ka badang ya sha sha ka jingtre ha mau ding ding new shillong township how banai jimang mtau snem ka high power committee jong ka assembly secretariat mta ka lai poetry banai risau hadin ke jingthir ba janai ba ka la manjer ba sna biang yo dum buduna ka jingkhia haswa jong ka ni ka ladon ka jelang jong ka high power committee ya ka bala wan bandon lang ru da mentri rang ba ka jala konrat ke sangma ba mikmat ya ka sarkar bat ki dikhot ki bala poi ha ka ti jelang ki kinthop yo ba prestun tin song sembot mentri rang ba ba lambor mal ngi Uba das khat lamare kong ampri lingdo u chief kathri ka chala ba donal pi walang u commissioner kathri ka assembly secretariat ki he officer ba ki engineer ka trap ludi lambat ki weipat haba i kerembat ki lap thai ko bor lampang ka ying do bar thawai ka chala ba med ba lingdo u lai thu ba hadien la pek bnia ba hai ki design ka hai power committee ka larai ba sna biang yu dum ha ka ching trei ya ka ying do bar thawai ba ki thu ru ba u dum ba rim ba la khlam u don ka ching khia ba hadu lai hajar ton kat ba u niu dum ba sna thamai u dei busting ba ka ching khia ka long tang ar ne lai spa ton ka ching khia we had called for the HPC meeting where most of the members have attended. The HPC committee sat and discussed on the new design of the dome uh, portion where the design associate, the consultant, has uh, given a presentation on four options means four types of designs to the HPC members and where we have come to a conclusion uh, from the four designs the option number two has been selected and agreed by the HPC coming to the structure part of the dome we were informed and explained about that the portion of the dome will be of steel frames structure with uh, partly with uh, GRC materials and some metal sheets and at the same time it is with the profile pre-coated GI sheets that is what they call in the technical name of the materials which would be used for this new dome. <clears throat> uh, after a long discussion, we had also inquired from the design associates about the weight which will be involved as far as this new dome design is concerned. The earlier dome which was uh, constructed and erected was about 3,000 done but in this new dome structure it will be one tenth of that which means it will be around approximately 250 to 300 tons of the uh, weight now we had asked the design ship to give us the detailed drawings of this new dome um, which he will submit the same in one month time, uh, 30 days to 45 days time, which means one month to one and a half mm -hmm. month time, to be duly vetted by IIT Roorkee, like in the earlier case as well. The same will be submitted to the government, and uh, we had also discussed that uh, after getting the uh, drawing from the design associates, duly vetted by IIT Roorkee, will again be sent to IIT Guwahati for the final betting in order to ensure that the drawings of the new dome is uh, so to say uh, perfect and uh, uh, getting the technical uh, better from this IIT Guwahati. <coughs> Second part, we discuss about the uh, PMC appointment. Since uh, in the earlier part, the construction uh, as per the agreement, BMC is supposed to be um, appointed by the government. But uh, PMC here, since there is no PMC appointed by the government, then um, the PUD department is um, looking after as part of the PMC 
for the entire construction of the new assembly building. The third part was that uh, we discussed at length about the action taken on the findings of the report submitted by the IIT Guwahati, where they have mentioned, um, as far as the production part is concerned, that due to lack of coordination of the contractor, the consultant, and the PMC. Again, I would like to mention here that PMC is the department. So, uh, no additional costs will be involved as explained by the government and uh, which they have taken steps as far as the action taken for all these three. Contractor and consultant, they have already completed the um, the asking for show costs and they've also replied to the comment. With regards to the PUD department, today we have um, again discussed the matter where the government has briefed us to all the members of the HPC that uh, they have seek explanation from the PUD department where the secretary of the PUD department has um, asked for explanation from the chief engineer uh, PUD building and which the matter is under progress. As far as the clearing up of all the debris in the, of the collapse portion, the entire process will be completed with another period of one month time. So means by end of November, um, all those debris will be lifted outside, out of the uh, structure of the building. Now, <clears throat> we had uh, also discussed about the time, target time frame for completion of the entire project. Since work is going on in other parts of the building, so we uh, see that uh, in six months time, the new assembly building will be completed, approximately six months time.